today we're going to test out the viral TikTok heatless curling ribbon. This one right here, I'm so excited about because I did test out and we reviewed the original method using the bathrobe belt using it overnight and seeing how the hair turns out. But I'm really excited about this because this has more of a consistent shape and it has like that silky, satiny slip on the outside. So I'm really excited. This, I, I think this is just called the curling ribbon or the heatless curler something. I found it online. This one is their limited edition retailing for $48. So you'll get two scrunchies. They're not like great quality or anything. And then this right here is the sausage. <laughs> Just kidding. This right here is the actual curler. You also get a clip. And they do have other options, other col colors that are originally $42. And they're always sold out, but I did get it through pre-order. So hopefully you can get yours as well. But this right here feels really nice. It just feels like a nice satin. And then the inside is nice and round. It's more of like a nice cylinder shape. And it has a little bit of a plush. So I did a little bit of research of how people recommend to use this on their own Instagram page. The girls, they do it on damp hair and then I guess they sleep overnight and then they get the results. And then other people that have tested this out before said they tried it both ways on dry and damp hair and they prefer it on dry hair. Just leave it during the day, whatever you're doing. But I figured let's do half and half. Half of the head, let's do damp. Half of the head, let's do dry and see the results that we get. Hopefully we get something really beautiful, but I'm excited to test this out. So left side, let's do damp. Right side, let's do dry. Let's go for it. Just taking the right side away from my face and we're gonna get this side damp. I'm just using this Seg Beauty. It's kind of like a continuous spray, spray bottle. <laughs> Super fine mist, which is really awesome. And I'm not gonna soak my hair, just get it nice and damp. Because when I did it with the belt, I didn't do it on soaking wet hair. It was more damp, like probably maybe 60, 70% dry. I'm just gonna brush it through. Oh yeah, that looks good. It's nice and damp. Let that down, Let's brush this through. And I did bring all the hair to the front. So now, just make sure it's somewhat even. Just place it on my head. And I'm just gonna use their clip. Let's see if this is big enough. Yeah, kind of. But then I'm also going to take this side and get this out of the way using their scrunchie. So how she did it on their Instagram page, she basically took a section, wrapped it around, and then add another section to that section. Kind of like a rope twist in a way, but you're not going opposite directions. So taking this first section, just wanna make sure it's nice and brushed out, wrap it, hold it there, add this next section, wrap it. I'm doing it kind of tighter, take it, Next section. And I'm always adding hair to that section. And there is a fly, massive flies flying around me. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> Taking a lot of this hair, making sure it's nice and even. Wrap it. Next section. Make sure to grab it from the back also. And the section is just gonna get bigger and thicker. So I'm trying to hold it as nice and tight as I can. I already like this better than the belt, just because it has a little bit more of a substance. I feel like it has more hold. And structure. Yeah, and structure, yeah. Now I'm just wrapping it around. Okay. Then I'm gonna take the little scrunchie and tie my hair off. And if you're wondering if you can do long hair on this, the girl on the Instagram under the hair curler, she had really long hair and it fit all the way up just because she kept putting it closer and closer together. So that way there wasn't as much of the rope seen. It was, the hair was mostly all on the rope or the tube. What would you call this? The curler, that's what we're gonna call it. <laughs> Let's take this out, brush this through one more time. And I'm going to do the exact same step. I'm just gonna take another extra hair elastic because the hair just kind of keeps on rolling. I'm just gonna roll it as much as I can and then take another clear elastic and tie both of these towards the back of my head. That's nice and comfortable. And we'll see what we look like. We'll check probably in three, four hours. Do some housework, probably put on, put on a little bit of makeup. 
let's do this. I'm excited. It's almost been six hours. I decided to wait a little bit longer just because I was doing a bunch of stuff around the house and hopefully we get better results <laughs> with two extra hours. I'm just gonna take out that first scrunchie. Which side do you wanna do first? Oof. Let's do their side. Let's the do let's do at the same time. Oh, let's do the way they prescribe and then the so way. So damp? You, yeah. Let's see her brand's recommendation. Ugh. And they do this. <laughs> it's like stuck. Oh, wow. Whoa! <laughs> that good? Looks pretty good. Are you seeing that? Yeah. Wow. Let's see this side, the dry side. This is what the YouTubers and Instagrammers and the TikTokers it. said. The TikTokers, okay. Yes. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Huge difference. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy I did it this way. The damp sign is definitely more defined. Oh yeah, look at that. And it's way more bouncy versus this side. It's really soft and there's like, your hair is a little bit longer on this side also. Yeah. I am impressed with this side like a lot. It's very even. And I actually really like that method of the way they recommended to do a kind of like a rope twist in a way, but just going all in the same direction because I mean, look at that definition. And just doing the tiny bit amount of getting your hair nice and damp. And I honestly really like this just because I already had fresh hair and it was really dry. And then I just used my little mister with water, nothing else in here. You could also do like a leave-in conditioner and something else, but wow, wow. I am impressed with this. Oh, oh my goodness, and it's so even. I would say there's not as much wave towards the very back, but this is beautiful. I'm just trying to take it out a little bit just so we can see, oh my goodness. Yeah, you can see a huge difference, wow. This one's actually really pretty also. This one's more like a really nice, Wave. Bend, wavy, that one really soft. Yeah, this one's like beautiful little ringlets. I mean, I personally like that one better. This one? Yeah. Why? It's just a more dramatic effect. I think both sides are actually really pretty, but I'm like actually really impressed with both sides. At least you get something, but this way you can see what you can actually get damp versus dry and clean hair. Wow. Okay, I love how even it is, like from top to bottom on both sides. Even this little hair, usually something always happens really weird and wonky with this piece of section right here. But it's quite pretty. Try to brush it out with a comb. Yeah, let's see what it looks like. I didn't think the dry side was gonna look as good. It's actually really pretty. I love how long the waves look. The hair still looks really voluminized and shiny and bouncy. It really depends on what you, you want to get out of it. Exactly. Do you want more of a wave or do you want more of a curl? Like a tighter curl. It also depends how damp your hair is. Yeah, if you have really thick hair, you might need to sleep with it overnight and maybe even dry it a little bit extra. So you're, like I said, 65 to 75% dry. And yeah, so. I think that was like, that's like my favorite method, making sure your roots are not soaking wet, more of like your hair, the length of your hair is a little bit damp. That way, that's where you get most of that curl or a wave. Just because when I go straight from the shower, I let it kind of air dry, maybe like 10, 20 minutes, and then I do something like this, usually my roots, they're not, they're not as shiny, the hair is not as bouncy, it's looking a little bit more frizzy. So I would recommend to do as much air drying or even just dry your hair completely and then do it like I did, damp it a little bit, use a little mister with water or leave in conditioner, mix it with water, that's what you wanna do. But yeah, this is a really beautiful result. Again, depends all what you're looking for, but the consistency to me, this is one of the better ones. I found something like this for heatless, 
curling method because it's comfortable, it doesn't hurt, very easy to do. I feel like anybody can do this. And yeah, I am I am actually very impressed. Doesn't pull your hair, right? Exactly, it does not pull your hair. And if anything, I would just buy my own silk scrunchies if I were to sleep with this. Just because these ones right here, they have like that metallic feeling because they have glitter or metallic, whatever you want to say on here. So it's not as soft on the hair. So I would just get like silk scrunchies and yeah, I'm actually really, really impressed with this. I am gonna try to give you guys an update tonight and see what the hair looks like, how much has fallen out, and what does it look like, pretty much. See you guys in a little bit. How does the hair look? Still looks wavy. Yeah? That other side's a lot more curlier, though. Yep, that more one. More defined? Very defined, still, yeah. All right, you guys. I'll leave you here. Please let me know your results, how you use this kind of method. Do you still use a bathrobe, belt robe? Do you use a towel? Do you use, I heard people saying um, they use like cotton t-shirts and other things, but this right here is one of the better methods where the hair is very consistent. It's very beautiful. It's still shiny and bouncy. And I just, overall, it's beautiful either way. I mean, look at that. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye. Thank you.